If you're like me, and who wouldn't want to be, <laughs> then you probably also wake up at 3 a.m. sometimes with a flood of urgent questions in your mind. How do barcode readers work? How did bubble wrap appear? And most importantly, is there a reason most erasers are pink? Well, here we go! Ever paid attention to those metal or plastic tips on the ends of your shoelaces? They're called aglets. Sure, they keep the strings from fraying, and they make lacing your shoes a bit less labor-intensive. But here's the surprising bit. They appeared in ancient Rome, where people made them out of glass or stone. Now, the reason why the computer mouse is named after that cute little rodent is easy to explain. The thing is quick and small, and not too long ago, it used to have a cord connecting it to the computer that looked like a tail. But when the first computer mice appeared, producers referred to them as turtles. Makes sense. They're covered with a hard shell, and all the moving parts are underneath this shield. Obviously, webcams let you see your friends and relatives who can be halfway across the world. But few people know that the web camera was created with a bit less noble purpose. It was 1991, and Cambridge computer scientists were getting frustrated. You see, every time they went to the coffee machine for a cup of joe, there wouldn't be any coffee left in the pot. A journey wasted. One day, they finally had enough and simply invented the world's first webcam. They placed the camera next to the infamous coffee pot with a perfect view to check the level. Then they'd know right from their desks if the trip would be worth the effort. Ah, what would childhood be without hours spent sending a slinky down the staircase? Ah, good times! The popular toy has been around for over 70 years. But there's more to the slinky than stair time fun and a lot of tangles. Its older metal version used to serve as a makeshift antenna for engineers and soldiers. And in 1985, one slinky even made it to space! Unfortunately, it refused to slink in zero gravity. Astronauts reported that it just drooped. Paper money isn't the only reliable form of cash, because bills tend to wear out faster than you think. For example, a US $1 bill usually lasts only for 18 months. After that, it must be withdrawn from circulation and replaced. A $5 bill goes a bit longer, for 2 years a 10 for 3 years, and a 20 for 4 years. As for 50 and $100 bills, they last the longest 9 whole years. And get this, the US Mint prints 37 million bills a day, but 95% of them go to replace old ones that are dirty, torn, faded, and unusable. Hey, I'll be happy to take that dirty, torn, and faded cash. Call me, maybe. T-shirts were invented at the beginning of the 20th century. In 1904, Cooper Underwear Company advertised them as a perfect product for bachelors who couldn't sew or reattach buttons to their shirts. Back then, you were supposed to wear a t-shirt under your collared shirt as an undergarment. Oh, and all t-shirts at that time were white, no funny prints or bright colors. In 1957, engineers Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavanez decided to seal two shower curtains together with tiny bubbles of air stuck in between. Why? It was supposed to be a cool new idea for wallpaper. Unfortunately for them, nobody was interested in bubbly wall decor. But in 1961, people realized that this bubble wrap could be great protection for fragile things. The company's first client was IBM, who used the stuff to cover their computers during shipment. I don't know. I'm kind of into that wallpaper idea now that I think about it. Imagine how fun your house could be! Erasers. Why are they pink? Okay, I know they now come in all colors and shapes, but I'm talking about that classic bubblegum hue. History's got all the answers. When a standalone eraser appeared in 1916, it was made mainly of rubber and pumice. Without the pumice, the thing didn't have enough friction to erase pencil marks. Pumice could be white or red, and the color of an eraser depended on the hue of this volcanic rock. That year, the Eberhard Faber Pencil Company started to add pink pumice to their erasers, which became popular under the name Pink Pearl. Nowadays, producers don't use pumice or natural rubber for their erasers anymore, but they decided to keep the color as an homage to history. Electric fans don't actually cool the air. If you put a thermometer anywhere close to the working parts, you'll see the temperature rise due to the electric current. What it does do is cool your skin. 
The device speeds up the evaporation process, making sweat on your skin colder. Rice is the oldest food on your plate. And I don't mean it's expired. Rice is the product people have been cultivating for the longest time, from 12,000 to 15,000 years. It first appeared in ancient China's Pearl River Valley thousands of years ago. The only other food that's almost as old is corn. Native people in Mexico started growing it between 7,000 and 12,000 years ago. Now, the keyboard you use today was originally designed to slow you down. The position of the letters isn't as random as it might seem. It's called QWERTY design. See the top left row of letters. And it appeared in 1872. The main purpose of this design was to slow down the typists of that time. They were getting too fast for the machines they used. As a result, typewriters jammed, which wasted tons of time. And however counterintuitive it may sound, slowing the typists down actually made them more productive. Obviously, there's no practical need for the QWERTY keyboard nowadays. But people are so used to it, that it's probably not worth coming up with a new design. You might have noticed that some cables have clunky cylinders on them. These cylinders are called ferrite chokes or ferrite beads, and they have an important function. Without them, cables turn into antennas that can pick up and broadcast electrical interference. The cylinders, in turn, choke this interference. Now, stick with me here. Velcro was invented after a walk in the forest. George de Mistral, the Swiss inventor of the popular quick fastener, once noticed how burrs would stick to his dog's fur and his own pant legs. This inspired him to come up with an idea of creating the same effect for fabric. Now, Barbie saw the light of day in 1959, and in the 1960s, the legendary doll got a fictional biography based in a series of novels. If you read them, you'll find out that her full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts of Willows, Wisconsin, and her parents are George and Margaret Roberts. But they're all kind of artificial, you know what I mean? Despite what I used to believe, barcode readers aren't reading the black parts of the code, but the white ones. The reader emits rays of light that fall on those bars. When that happens, the white areas reflect this light, while the dark ones absorb it. And it's the reflected light which helps the device read the code and give you the information about the product. Man, I used to think the barcode meant how many pretzels you were allowed to eat along with your beverage. In 1493, Christopher Columbus brought some pineapples to Europe, and people fell in love with the taste of the exotic fruit. Sadly, they needed tropical climates to grow to perfection. That's why the only way to get yourself a pineapple was to import it from across the Atlantic. It took ages, and in the process, fruits could get rotten or bruised. No wonder a single pineapple could cost a ridiculous amount of money. It became a symbol of status, and people who couldn't afford to buy one rented pineapples for a night to show them off at their parties. And now, I think I'll go back to sleep. Morning's coming soon. But first, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other great videos I know you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.